Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by your Indiana Pacers. Well, the Meat Johnson Nutrition Facility in Evansville is getting a $25 million investment from its parent company. United Kingdom-based RB Group PLC acquired Meat Johnson about a year ago and plans to add nearly 100 jobs over the next five years as part of that expansion. A manufacturer of food and medical-grade flexible packaging is growing in Marshall County. Bamarco Inc. plans to invest $5 million to expand its facility in Plymouth and add about 20 jobs. A new assisted living facility officially opened this week in a unique location in New Albany. Mansion on Main is the result of a $15 million revamp of a former shirt factory. Production at the 1920s era M. Fine & Sons building ended more than 40 years ago. And a first-of-its-kind museum honoring an Indiana basketball legend is planned for downtown Terre Haute. The Vigo County Capital Improvement Board has announced the Larry Bird Museum will be located inside the planned Terre Haute Convention Center. Well, she is an iconic figure in both business and education in Indiana and really around the globe. And Crystal House International founder Crystal DeHaan is retiring as CEO of the charity she founded 20 years ago and handing the reins to former Indianapolis Mayor Bart Peterson. And both are here in studio now to look back at the success of the organization and, of course, look ahead to what's, uh, what's next. And welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Crystal, hard to believe, 20 years. Uh, think back on, on that original vision uh, for Crystal House International. You now have eight schools uh, around, uh, around the world, a ninth coming at the beginning of next year. But the, the model really is about a long-term vision uh, for these impoverished students. Talk about uh, the vision and how it's uh, transpired over the last 20 years. Well, the, the vision was really grounded in my belief that when you are fortunate, to be successful in business mm -hmm. and uh, have cr uh, and create certain resources, then for me it was important that these resources would be deployed in the creation of human capital and not in the co uh, creation of market capital because I had that through the sale of RCI. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something that was intergenerational, that was international, and that had a long-lasting effect of um, transforming lives. And that's, it, it sounds very, very easy, but it is actually quite, quite difficult to do because it takes a lot, uh, a, a very good model and a lot of long, uh, uh, a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of love. 98% of students pass exams to graduate from high school. 91% grads uh, either continue in post-secondary or become gainfully employed. Those numbers uh, are, are very impressive. And again, underscores this long-term uh, commitment that you have to these students. Well, you know, our, our model basically uh, runs in the first segment, kindergarten, mm -hmm. through high school graduation. Then uh, college and the co college and career program, which supports our graduates through that period of time or integrates them into the workplace. So we are we feel responsible and are responsible for them for at least 17 or sometimes 18 years. Wow. Former mayor of Indianapolis, Bart Peterson, the first mayor in the nation to authorize public charter schools. So this seems like somewhat of a natural uh, transition for you. It is, Gary. I have a passion for education and have been pretty deeply immersed in it since, really, since I took office back in 2000. In fact, Crystal and I sat down just after I took office and had our first conversation about education and really clicked. And I think the fact that we have shared values about education is, uh, you know, yeah. maybe maybe the genesis of the yeah. reason we're sitting here together today but uh, yes and I've, I've uh, chaired the board of the mind trust for the mm -hmm. last uh, 12 years since it was founded mm -hmm. and I have remained with my fingers uh, 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 in education uh, for really uh, the last 20 years, but this is going to be quite a, a different level of immersion. Well, uh, and, and again, as I mentioned, eight schools currently exist. A ninth uh, will launch in Jamaica after the uh, first of the year. Talk, as we've talked off camera, you talk about uh, Crystal House International being run as a business, yes. and you want to continue that kind of that model and that focus. That's right. One of the things that most attracted me to this opportunity is when Crystal and I first sat down to talk about this, she made it clear. She set this up to be an international business that produced not profit 
profits, but that produced transformed lives. And that operational efficiency, I, I think, has been one of the most important uh, pillars of the success of Crystal House. You'll take over as CEO right after the first of the year, Crystal, as we wrap up only about 25 seconds. You'll remain on as awesome. chairman of the board, That's right? That's right. And so you'll, you'll remain involved in the process. Yes, indeed. Very good. Crystal DeHaan and Bart Peterson, uh, congratulations, Crystal, on the tremendous success uh, of this idea you hatched 20 years ago and look forward to future successes Thank as well. Thank you so much. And Bart, we look forward to following your progress uh, at the institution as well. Great. Thank you, Bart. Thank you, Gary.